Hello friends, now we are in the next tutorial of Android tutorial series and our topic is introduction of explicit and implicit intent in Android. So as I already told you what exactly intent. Intent means simply move, able to move you from one activity to another. And in previous tutorial we had seen what exactly intent and what exactly the activity. If you don't know this, please go through my previous tutorial. So first we will see what exactly explicit intent. Okay. Suppose in your application you have created one activity because whenever you start Android Studio by default one activity is present and it is created by using XML and Java file and suppose your file name is like that. Okay. And suppose you want to add one more activity in your application then you may give the file name like that. For creating second activity also you have to use XML and Java file. Okay. So in your complete application there are two activity first activity and second. Both the activities are present in same application. Okay. So you are moving from one activity to another activity and both activities are present in same application and for that intent is used. And if you are doing this, that is known as explicit intent. So we have two activity A and B. You can create more than two activities also. Okay. <clears throat> Finally, we are in the next slide. So as you know, the activity is created by using XML and Java. Suppose you have created login app. Okay. So this is your first activity. And suppose you want to move in second activity. Okay. And this second activity file names are XML and main two activity. These are the names. Okay. So you need this bunch of code and you will add this code inside the login button. Means if user click on login, he will go on next page. Okay. And for that the intent is used. Means inside this button you have to simply add this code. And this code is nothing but intent object. And here we are passing two values two parameter this in place of this you can write the main activity dot this also or you simply write this then you have to specify the second class name that is here it is main to activity so here you should write main to activity dot class it will represent simply destination this will represent only source okay because you are moving from source to destination first value represents source second represent destination so you have to write this bunch of code. Start activity means it will start the new activity. So you have to write this simplest bunch of code in login button and it will help you to move in the second activity. Next implicit intent. Implicit intent means this both activity these are the part of different application. And intent will again help you to move from one activity to another activity that is the part of different application. So that is known as implicit intent. So as you already know activity is created by using XML and Java. Okay. And you don't need to create the next activity because you are switching into the next activity which is present in the another app. Then you need this bunch of code. So you are already in the first activity. It is created by using XML and Java. You have created one button that is click here. So inside that button you have to write this bunch of code. So if you click here it will open the next activity that is the part of other application. Suppose you want to open Facebook. So you simply write the intent object and here you have to pass parameter action dot view means we are going to perform particular action. So you have to write action underscore view. Then this object you have to pass here i dot set data you are passing we are using URI type of data so that's why here you are ri dot parse and then you have to pass the value our value is facebook.com we are representing here complete url so it means you will move from this to facebook start activity means it will start the next activity so this bunch of code you have to write inside this button so you simply click here it will move on facebook if you write here google.com you will move on google whatever website you will write here you will switch on that website so that is simply implicit intent so through this example uh, I understood, you understood, uh, I hope you understood both explicit and implicit intent. And in the next tutorial, we are going to implement explicit 
uh, intent in the program so in the next tutorial we are going to see uh, a program which is based on implicit sorry which is based on explicit intent and after that we will see again program which is based on next intent that is the implicit intent so in the coming tutorial we will see the programs of both explicit and implicit intent so i hope you understood this tutorial thank you